Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure. You have to be serious. I, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Go. Bro. It's hot. <laughs> What's going on guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're returning well welcome back as you can see for today's video I have a special guest my little brother Alex so for today's video we're gonna make him look like he is hmm, 80 years old he is actually 14 but it's gonna be 14 going on 80 uh, we're gonna try to do a makeup look to make him look old. Um, I've been watching a couple videos using latex and different other techniques so we're gonna give it a try and see how it works so let's go ahead and get started with the video. Alright guys so first things first we're gonna start with this brown pencil and we're going to outline all the creases in his face so we're gonna make him wrinkle his face and then we're just gonna outline them just so they can be like a little bit deeper uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna have him do is I'm just gonna have go like this, or no up, yeah. So we can so all those little lines right there we're gonna outline them. And also if my finger is red, if you see my finger red, it's I literally did like a creepy skin peeling thing in like five minutes, so that's why my finger stained. I'll insert it here so you can see it. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and outline his wrinkles. So now that we got his forehead, we're gonna try to do the sides of his cheeks right here and do some lines here. All right guys, so now that we have the brown in, we're going to go with this brush. It's just a little brush and we're gonna grab some white and then we're going to put some white uh, underneath every single line just to give it a little bit of more color. So I have some white cream paint on the brush and we're just going to outline them. Alright guys, so now that we outlined them with white, we're going to use we're going to use this beauty blender to blend it out a little bit. So they're not too like dark. This gives me an excuse to hit him. And now I'm going to use a brush to blend it out a little more. Alright, so now that we blended it out, we are going to give him a lot of wrinkles with latex. So I have my like latex right here. I'm going to pour some in this little container that I have. All right, so now this part is a little bit difficult. So what we have to do is I'm gonna have to have him stretch out his face as much as he can. And then we're gonna put a couple layers of latex um, to try to mimic the wrinkles. So by stretching out the skin and then letting it go, it gives you like that wrinkle effect. So let's go ahead and get started. I have some latex in this little cup and I have a little white sponge. So that's how I'm going to add it for him right now. So now we're going to use this fan that I have to dry it up faster. We're going to go ahead and with layer number two. <sighs> layer number two complete. Let's dry it out.
Layer number two complete and dry. We're gonna go ahead and layer number three. If I let go, get closer. You can let go real quick. You can already start seeing the oh, wrinkles. That feels weird. <laughs> like right here, you get wrinkles. And right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do layer number three. So this is after three layers. Go closer. <laughs> We're gonna do one more layer. This layer we have to stretch really good. Oh yeah, do that, do that. Ready? So this is after four layers. <laughs> is it focused? Yeah, it was. All right, so now that we did four layers here and I showed you guys how to do it, we're going to do that all over his face wherever we can stretch. So like his cheeks, the forehead is, you can't really stretch there. He's just checking himself out in the mirror. The forehead, you can't really stretch there, but we're just gonna add some just to give it some texture, but we're gonna put it like all over his cheeks. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in fast motion right now. So this is after four layers on his cheek, guys. I'm covering my face so it focuses on his, but that's after four layers on his cheek, so we're gonna go ahead and do his rest of the face right now. And we're back. Now that his face looks all wrinkly, we're going to try to take some of that shine away with the translucent powder. So I'm just going to add this all over his face to try to make that shine go away and we'll wait like a couple minutes. Um, we'll let him bake and then we're going to add like the rest of the makeup foundation and stuff. So I'm going to put some in here. All right, so now that we left that translucent powder on there for like six minutes, we're gonna brush the excess off. So now that we did that, we're gonna go with this palette, which is like the foundation palette. It's a kit that I bought to make people look old. So we're gonna go with that and then just put it all over his face and blend it in. Oh, I you're putting it in my hair. Now that we did that, we're gonna go back to this palette and just add some shadows. So we're deaf. We're gonna go in with another brush and just blend it out so it's not too harsh. So now that we did his eyes, we're gonna add some more like depth in by his lips.
All right, now we're gonna set his face again. This time we're gonna use this one, which makes his skin look a little bit older. Alright, so now we're gonna let him bake a little bit longer. Actually, while we wait for him to bake, we're going to go ahead and turn his eyebrows white, give him some white hair. So we're gonna go on with the spoolie, and then we're just gonna go into the white, and we're gonna like scrape it a little bit, and that's how we'll get the white color. And then we're just gonna brush his eyebrows. Actually, it's not working as good. We're gonna go with a different brush and get that white color on there and paint it. So now that we have the bars white, we'll go in with the spoolie and brush it up just to get it all in there. So now we're gonna take the excess powder off of his face. All right, so now we're gonna go back to this palette and just add some darker color so he doesn't look so pale. We're just gonna brush it on there. <laughs> so we're just gonna going in with a bright color now to brighten to lighten it up a little bit all right so I think we got the color of his skin how I wanted it it looks damaged and ugly and old so now we're just going to go back with our white to do his eyebrows. Go with the spoolie, brush it out. I think we're done. Alright guys, are you ready to see the final product? Well, here we go. Alright guys, so what did you think? Does he look like he's 80 years old? He looks really old. My parents didn't see it at first and then they thought he looked really old. But yeah, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye! Bye!